there. Today I am at Calshot and I thought I would take this opportunity to show you around the site. I'm currently on Calshot Beach where there are lovely long beach walks and several car parks to use. Um, if you do come down to Calshot for a walk, I wanted to point out this area just behind me. This is a spit and some small islands that are visible only at low tide. And this area is a bird hotspot. So it's a wonderful place to come and watch some of our wading birds like oyster catchers and turnstones. Um, we just heard an oyster catcher calling, which is very haunting and beautiful. If you do come here and you do see the birds using the spit, uh, we do ask if possible, if you stick to the beach, it will allow them to continue feeding and resting on the spit. It's such an important area for them. And if you come by and there are no birds on the spit, consider staying on the beach anyway, because that will allow them to feel safe to go out there and use it. And of course, this applies to our four-legged friends as well. This is a fantastic area to come because you can watch all sorts of boats come and go, shipping traffic, all sorts of boats. You also get really great views to the Isle of Wight. When I come to Calshot to patrol, I tend to set up my spotting scope here in front of the spit because it is a bird hotspot. So if you are here, please come and say hello and have a look through the spotting scope at some of our amazing birds. Between Calshot Beach and the main shore, there is a walking path right of way that we're stood on right now. It is often very quiet, so it's wonderful for a meditative walk and you can walk all the way to Foley if you've got a couple of hours. However, I must warn you that it's quite muddy and boggy, so welly boots are a must. This is a wonderful spot for wildlife watching. This entire walk is very wildlife diverse. Today we've seen two species of duck, widgeon and teal. There's also some ringed plover. I've heard some oyster catchers calling um, and there's some brent geese out there as well. But every day is a little bit different and this site never fails to deliver for wonderful wildlife. Oh, the ring plovers are amazing. They're so sweet. Oh, there's some dunlin as well. There's quite a few dunlin once you start looking, but they're just so camouflaged. On blustery or rainy days, you can even stay snug in your car and still view the birds. If you're into history, Calshot has layers of history. You can just make out behind me Calshot Castle, which was constructed in 1539 at the orders of Henry VIII to defend Southampton from attack. It is open to the public in spring and summer, and the volunteers who work there have a wealth of information and knowledge. Calshot is also rich in aviation history, with old airplane hangars still in use today as sports and activity centers. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Calshot. Perhaps I will see you next time I'm on patrol. If you'd like to see more videos like this, there are loads on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe.